Yo, how's it going, everyone? So in this video, I want to actually show you some back testing. It's not official back testing because I'm not going back like years in the past, but I actually want to show you something. I've noticed that the kangaroo tail is very effective on the 15 minute time frame. Now, this is a GBP pair. So you see how dangerous it is from all the way up here to down here. Uh, that's 600 pips. Okay, that was a 600 pip drop. So this is the 15 minute time frame, and don't get me wrong, of course, you're also going to have losing trades. But let me show you this right here. This is how effective day trading on GBP pairs can actually be with just the kangaroo. And coincidentally, these trades also have divergence. So look at right here, kangaroo tail after bearish divergence. What happened? If you would have gotten into the trade right here, just right here alone, you would have had a drawdown of like 70 pips but then it would have fallen down by 200 pips, right? Let's say you didn't get into that trade because let's say you only want to trade based off my strategy of kangaroo divergence, right? You see divergence, regular divergence, and then a kangaroo tail after that. Here's a perfect example. There's bearish regular divergence right here, and then there's a kangaroo tail. So you wait for the divergence to close, boom, it closed. Okay, great. You see a kangaroo tail? That's when I get into a sell. You would have had zero drawdown literally zero drawdown and look at what have happened you would have gotten in at the close of this kangaroo tail and you would have made 200 pips pretty much 200 pips exactly so this right here look at how accurate this is right kangaroo tail let's just say you got in based off the kangaroo tail right here you would have been in a 55 pip drawdown and then boom 220 pips Right here, zero pip drawdown. You would have made an instant 100 pips before it spiked back up, probably to your break even. And then it would have kept on falling down to 150 pips. Right here, clearly a losing trade. This would have been a losing trade. So you got to find a place for your stop loss. So in this case for me, let me just place a stop loss right here. I think that's fine. Uh, I mean, so again, I'm just testing this out on the 15 minute time frame. Look at this right here kangaroo tail so if you would have gotten in on the kangaroo tail right here uh that would have been a 30 to 40 pip drawdown and then boom spiked up by 160 pips right here kangaroo tail you would have been in drawdown by about 50 pips boom 200 pips so this is what i'm saying i mean obviously i got a horrible entry here so i don't care if this one hits stop loss or not but uh yeah if i would have gotten in at the close of that candle so at the close of this blue candle, how much did it fall? It fell down by 267 pips right there. So yeah, clearly I got in at a bad spot. Uh, yeah, horrible entry, but I just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and pull this up right here. Look at this, okay? Let's go back here and let's look at USD Japanese Yen. Where is USD Japanese Yen? I just connected all of them on the 15 minute time frame, to be honest. So check this out. If you would have gotten in at the close, let's start here. At the close of this uh, kangaroo tail, you would have been in a 20 to around a 15, 20 pip drawdown. And then it would have spiked down by 256 pips. If you would have gotten in right here, obviously that would have been a losing trade. If you would have gotten in right here at the close of this candle, which would be right here, you would have caught around 67 pips right here. This would have been a losing trade, assuming you used a stop loss or, you know, didn't use a stop loss. Obviously that would have been a losing trade. This one right here, also depending on if you used, well, this one would have been clearly a losing trade because it kept on going up. But let's say, okay, this right here is around a 50 pip drawdown. So let's say you used a stop loss that was down here at this wick, right? you would have been completely safe. It wouldn't have fallen down. So let's say you put a stop loss down here of let's say 90 to 100 pips. You, you bought right here and you know, you'd know you be up 270 pips profit, right? Of course, it's easy in hindsight to look at what we could have done. It's easy in hindsight to look at what trades we could have done and how things could have played out. That would have been a losing trade, losing trade. Uh, but from up here, if you got in up here at the close, that would have made 69 pips. Up here, close of this candle, you would have made a, around 90 to 100 pips. Right here, perfect trade. You would have only had a you know, 10, 15 pip drawdown. And then, boom, 
134 pips profit. So I find that to be pretty insane, uh, if you ask me. So uh, yeah, let's go check out how this is doing. So anyways, that's what I just wanted to show you. This is the 15 minute time frame kangaroo divergent strategy. Basically, what I'm doing now, I'm testing this out. If I see a kangaroo tail on the 15 minute time frame, I'm gonna go ahead and just place the trade. Whether I see divergence or not, obviously that could go great or not so great over the long term. But just based off this, let's say you do it only for GBP pairs, right? If you do this only for GBP pairs, what's stopping you from only catching 50 pips, right? What if at least one of these appear uh, every day? Right. What if you catch a minimum of one of these trades on a daily basis? That's 50 pips a day. So from here to here, that's 50 pips. Do you see how little that is? You see how little of a movement this pair GBP NZD does for 50 pips? So imagine if you do that on GBP USD, GBP AUD, right? If you can catch 50 pips a day doing this, you are set for life because of the compounding effect. You can compound and grow your account. So I'm very interested to see how well this plays out in the near future, and I'll definitely keep you updated. But if you haven't already checked it out, uh, I have a link, I have two links down below. One for this indicator, this OBV divergence indicator. It's called from a company called TrueTL. And then also, <clears throat> also, if you want to know what kangaroo tail indicator I use, I also have that link down below as well. So the kangaroo tail indicator that lets you know when a kangaroo tail appeared. And that is a very highly accurate reversal candle in the market. Uh, you can read up about it on Naked Forex. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out these two indicators, I'll leave them linked down below, right? So that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. That is the 15-minute time frame kangaroo divergence trading strategy.